once we're done with the development of power pages no matter which methodology we have used either it's the agile or the waterfall the ultimate goal is to move the site from one environment to another environment hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video we'll see how we can move the power page site from one environment to another environment so let me just recall you initially when we used to do this migration or the deployment of site which we used to create using the portals the migration was a little bit tricky because whatever customization we do inside the portal was stored as a data into our portal management application but in the power pages this feature become available out of the box so let me just take you to my screen so here i'm in my environment where i have a portal portal i would say portal power pages okay so let me just show you where is my power page so this one is my power page site what i need to do i need to move this site from this environment to any other environment if you have designed your site in any type of trial environment or maybe any other environment it become necessary for you to move your site before this environment can expire or maybe you want to send this site to the, your, the production use okay so in the both cases we need to send this site from this environment to any other environment so how we can do this all you need to do is you need to go to the admin settings from this place and from the admin settings select your environment once let me just take you to the admin settings okay so now i'm in my admin settings and i have selected my environment you can see this environment is the same inside this environment what we need to do we need to go to the resources and here i have a setting for power page sites just click on this and here you can see at the top a toggle is there that is used to switch to the enhanced data model this toggle needs to be turned on before doing any type of deployment or any type of migration and this setting needs to be turned on in both the environments from where you want to send your site and where you want to import your site and so in both environment the setting should be turned on whenever you turn on this setting it's a configuration the system will take little time to reflect its changes what it do it actually installs some of the solutions to the environment and once those solutions installations are done you can see one app this would be the power pages management this power pages management would be similar to the one that we used to use for the portal management okay you can i can just give you the look of that so here you can see the power pages let it load okay so here we can see we have a sidebar site map and here we can see it is similar to that of the portal management application you can check all the website site settings forms list template table permission column permission everything that we used to have in the portal management you can also get in the power pages management the reason why we have enabled this switch why we have enabled the enhanced data model for this particular environment because we are going to use the traditional approach for the migration traditional approach means whenever we collect all the required components into the solution and then export the solution from one environment and import the solution in the another environment so the same way we are going to use in order to do the migration of the power page site so i have enabled this the settings is turned on for me now let's create a solution we 
come to this new solution and say it as site power page power page site solution publisher i'm using some default publisher and then kit once i create a solution initial the solution would be completely blank so here i can see i have an option to add existing because my site is already created so we go to the add existing and here we can see we have a site option this site option will be available once your configurations once you turn on this enhanced data model for the particular environment then only you would be able to see this site option into the ex existing drop down okay so just click on this site and here we have this site add this once you add this site let it add okay here you can see when i added this site it gives me only one site because i have only one site and it gives me some component 127 components into my site and if i try to understand what are those components those components are nothing just the things which i have used inside my site like i have a image if i scroll it down i can see my list like some of these things i have used the headers the home the screens okay the way i should say page not the screen but the page my this one is my list everything you can get in the site components okay and here i can see i have 129 components available now what we can do we can follow the same approach publish all the customizations once this customizations publishing get done okay let it publish all the customization meanwhile please make a note that this setting this enhanced data model it should be turned on for both the environment from where you are taking the site and where you are pasting your site or moving your site okay in both the environments this setting should be turned on otherwise if the, if you have only turned on this setting for the for the environment where from you want to export and you would not enable this setting for the destination environment in that case when you import the solution the solution would be completely blank okay so this setting needs to be turned on before doing any type of migration in source environment as well as in the destination environment so my publish customization are done now i can come back and where is my solution mm -mm. i can select click on this and then export it just give me a second so here from we can export our solution and then it asks what would be the type whether it's the managed or the unmanaged the same way we do for the, any type of so solution movement okay let's say i want it to go for the unmanaged export it and it would download a file for me into my local system meanwhile we'll go to the another environment where i want this site to be imported i can make the duplicate of this tab and go to my my another environment in this environment i like this site to be pasted now i come to this let it export it is exporting okay so exporting will take little time later it would be available to download 
so i'm just pausing this video just for a second until this file become down to my local system now my solution is ready to download let download it now i come to my destination environment hit one refresh for this environment too i have enabled the enhanced data model of the power page i'll go to the import browse by this site open next and then import now it has started importing into my solution so it will take time once it get done it will my site would be available in this environment as well so that's how we can do the movement of power pages site from one environment to another environment in some basic well some easy steps i would say because earlier we used to use so much type of tricky ways to do the deployment or the migration but now it become easy so thank you all thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye